Well, let's see. One camera, one lens kind of day. What camera and what lens did I bring? The Takina 400mm 5.6 lens attached to my Nikon D810. Now this is an old lens and if you've seen my recent Hummingbird video you will see some of the results from this lens and I was actually quite impressed and pleased with how well this old affordable budget lens um, did with hummingbirds. The sharpness was, was quite quite good. So today we're looking for frogs and turtles and whatever else we can find with this lens. I don't even have a tripod. We're just going to poke around and see if we can find something to photograph. Get some more use out of this old lens. Well, I did find some frogs. Unfortunately, they're in a spot where I can't photograph them. I can't get the right angle. Can't get low enough. Kind of up on this bank. I need to, I need to get a little lower, a little closer, and they're, uh, they can see me coming a mile away. Maybe I won't give up quite so, so easy. <laughs> a little per perseverance might be, might be a good thing at this time. I'll see if I can keep working keep working this area, see if I can't find uh, another angle. I know there's some in here, right in here in front of me, but I can't see them. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that if I stood here long enough, my eyes would start picking them out. But right now I'm not seeing them. When relegated to such a long focal length, you're really kind of limited to detail shots in these areas. And as the day heats up, the longer shots become harder to get with any kind of sharpness because of the atmosphere. So I'm looking for detail shots. I don't know why. why, why did I have to make it so hard on myself today? It's always fun to have a challenge. One of the best things about using a lens like this is also its biggest downfall. It's extremely light, easy to handhold, but the downfall is because it's so light, it's very unstable. It's with this kind of magnification, it's so hard to keep the camera steady at, at 400 millimeter. You got to really use a high shutter speed if you're going to want to get images sharp. So it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword. Light, easy to carry, but because of that, it's harder to get sharp images. I would imagine most of the images I get that aren't sharp aren't because of the glass. It's probably more from camera movement. I don't even know if anybody is actually making a modern version with image stabilization built into it of this lens nowadays. I would imagine Canon and Nikon might have something in that range, but they're going to be a lot more expensive. I should go and do some checking and see if uh, Sigma, Takina, and Tamron, any of those people make a, make a lens like this with image stabilization. That would be a, a good package. It's warming up out here. Well, my little hunt for frogs and turtles has kind of netted me a big goose egg. <laughs> I think this this uh, video may end up being a review on this old lens because I've been shooting other things with it just to see how well it does. How realistic is this uh, lens for getting sharp images? 
Um, so we'll see. When I get this back on the computer, we'll, we'll take a close look and see if this Liz belongs in my bag more often than it does. What? I know. I have a different shirt on. We got continuity issues here. Plus, I'm using a tripod and carrying a camera bag. <laughs> I'm still using one lens. But this is the following day from when I started the video. And I'm in a different pond. And I feel lucky. I think there's going to be a some frogs and some turtles here. So we're, we're still on the hunt. <laughs> well, I found my first frog I'm hiding down in this duckweed. Not quite an angle. I, I'd like a better angle, but at least it's a frog. I'm, I'm not going to complain too much. This duckweed is really thick and they, they really blend in well. But it's starting out a little better today than it did yesterday. Let's see if I can't find me some more. Got a, a frog here that's not camera shy. It's letting me get fairly close. Ooh, dragonflies. <laughs> Squirrel. Anyway. The wide angle lens. You were like two feet from that thing. Hopefully you, you got a good view of that dragonfly. That's pretty cool, isn't it? My only gripe right now is the grass is a little high, so I'm, I'm having to shoot down on the frog more than I'd like. I'm going to try one time to get lower, even though I'm really close to this frog. I have a feeling he's not going to be here very much longer. I'm going to do the old Hail Mary pass and see if we can get low and close. It's nice to find a subject that's cooperating. But I'm finally getting the frog shot I wanted. It's not like it's great art, but it is good fun. Well, that went pretty well. I was kind of pleased with that. Got it nice and close. Won't have to do a whole lot of cropping. It's uh, basically just a frog portrait. But he's a kind of interesting looking frog. He's got some nice black, dark color malting greens. A little duckweed on him. It went pretty well. Whew. Temperature's getting up there. It's supposed to be 100 degrees today. So I'll be probably calling it quits here pretty soon. Got my frog. I'm gonna wander on down the trail and see if there's anything left before uh, I head to the car. I found some turtles. A couple over sand, sunbathing on a log across the little channel here. I think they've spotted me. <laughs> but I did get a shot. Let's see if I can't get a little closer. <laughs> the little one bailed. The big one's still on the on the log. It's not a great angle. It's kinda of looking back at me. I'm expecting him to hit the water any time now. Like a wildlife photographer. I don't know what's going on behind me. Something's not happy. Oh. 
A couple mink just ran by. <laughs> they didn't see me until they were almost on top of me. And that was weird. Okay, back to the turtles. <laughs> I think I'll hang in here in these shadows just a little bit longer, see if uh, another turtle comes up on that log joins the big one. Just adding a little little weight. Whoa. <laughs> I'm on a highway here. Something just ran by me and jumped in the I mean crap. Maybe I should be focusing my lens down there. Well, I moved and got about as close as I'm going to get. This turtle's been pretty patient with me. I think I'm going to back on out of here. Give some space. Call it a, an end to a good day. Well, I have to say I'm quite pleased with how the shoot ended. I got my turtle shots. I got my frog shot. I got to play a little bit more with this old Takina 400 millimeter lens. It's starting to show its worth. It's starting to prove that it, it might just have a place in my camera bag more often. So we're going to end the video here. And until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride. Today we're using Ooh. yellow jackets. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't like my camera. And today we're using Ooh. yellow jackets. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't like my camera.